It's Work Zone Awareness Week. Warmer weather and the recent storms made more construction zones that can be particularly dangerous for roadside workers. News Lodge reporter Jillian Risberg has more information. According to AAA's Laurie Weaver Hawkins, between 2012 and 2021 in West Virginia alone, 41 people were killed in work zones. Nationwide in 2022, nearly 900 lost their lives. And in 2023, five were killed in work zones. She says it's a huge problem. And this year, already in 2024, We've had two people injured in March, one of them seriously. On the morning of April 4, we had a uh, vehicle coming at a high rate of speed uh, at Highway 340 and ended up hitting the woman who was working as the flagger. And unfortunately, oh. Uh, she was trapped under that vehicle and, and died of her injuries. It's a reminder that all year round, we need to be focused on our driving and obey speed limits when entering a work zone. Even if you've been through an area, the configuration of the lanes can change from day to day. Obey the flaggers when they're directing you, uh, the flashing signs if they're there. Going in on that roadway because uh, there are uh, people out uh, on foot working, there are pedestrians, bicyclists, possibly if you're within the city. Um, don't ignore those uh, reduced speed limits. Those are there for a reason. Hawkins says if you can't handle waiting your turn at the work zone, then avoid the work zone. Better off for the for the workers if you know you're going to be just aggressive and speeding through there and put their lives in danger just go a different route. So know before you go. Concerned about getting to your destination safely? Hawkins recommends a free app like Waze that alerts you to work zones or look at the Department of Transportation website. She says there's no excuse for speeding and not noticing traffic at a standstill. And having a tragedy occur like we, we saw earlier this month. Multimedia journalist Jillian Risberg for Newswatch.